Hello and welcome. What is Story Say? I'm Dr. Pauline Baird, a Buxtonian Guyanese. I was born in Buxton and was raised there and spent most of my life there. I'm a cultural bearer as well. I tell the stories of my village. I tell the stories of our hidden and whispered traditions and our family histories. I tell these stories so that others can learn from them. You see, a lot of people think they know Buxton. They know a lot about Buxton, but they don't know Buxton. So I'm here to tell the stories of Buxton. You know, in Buxton, boy and girl can go on a date. And before the date over, the girl disappear. Just like that. Why? And how? Loud talk story. You see this thing here? This is a kerchief. A hand kerchief. And you see this here? This is a shoe. Kerchief and shoe got a relationship. You know how? Hmm. I'm going to tell you why. You see, before a young girl go out on a date with a young man, the old people used to say to her, you get your vex money. Now what is vex money? Vex money is in case money. In case the date don't go well, the money is for escape. Let me tell you something. Old people used to use kerchief. Mm -hmm. See, this is coins. They go put the coins in the kerchief. They put it in the kerchief. And then they wrap up the coins like this. You can put notes too, you know. You can put notes. See, this here is a note. You put it in the kerchief like so. And you wrap it good. And you tie a knot like this. Uh-huh. Like so. This is vex money. And you take your vex money and you take your God-given purse, your bosom, and you stick it in your bosom. So, mm -hmm. That's where vex money does go. Sometimes, if you can't put it in your bosom, you put it in your shoe and you keep it there. Well, boys know about vex money, but they're not sure if you got your vex money. And some of them used to do stupidness even though they know about vex money. Word has it, they had a buyer village. He carried a girl to the dance. I had a dance up, the dance up and thing. So when the dance little bit, he buys she a beer and she drink up the beer. The dance little more, he buys she another beer. The dance up. Mm -mm. When the party over, they're going home. He said, girl, I want back my beer. The girl said, I oh, will give you back your beer. He said, I want it back. And he vexed with she. He said, you want back the beer? She said, all right, well, I'm going to buy it back for you. He said, no, I want my beer in the same bottle. That same beer in the same bottle. So how is she going to get this beer in this bottle now? She ain't got no beer for getting no bottle. Well, that's when she's going to exercise. She write to you, she vex money. And if the party out of the village, she can just catch a taxi and go my lefty. Here is how vex money does go sometimes too. Well, you know in the village, long ago, girl and boy used to go to matinee. Matinee is afternoon movie show. Mm -mm. Suppose the boy and girl go to the movie. And you know, back in the day, they used to go to the Vijay cinema in a neighboring village. And you could go to pit, house, and balcony, three sections in the cinema. Well, pit, they said pit used to smell like pee, and pit got bug. So, if you carry out a girl, you want to go house or balcony. Well, suppose the boy decide that he want to go pit. You get your vex money to exercise your right to negotiate the terms of, of engagement. Well, let's say they're going to balcony. And they're sitting up in the balcony and they're watching the show. Next thing you know, the boy and creep over by the girl. Not wrong. And then he starts to perform in answers and get fresh. Maybe the girl get uncomfortable with him. And she's telling the guy, you know, to relax and chill. 
but sometimes you don't want to be aggressive, you know, young and aggressive. That's when the girl has exercised your right to use Shavik's money. So many a time, as word have it, that this girl would say, excuse me, I want to go to the bathroom. And from the time she left the bathroom, he and see she again. She hold out and go to the car park and catch a taxi and go home. That's how they just use Vex money. I started to think, what's the use of this Vex money? It seems as though the women of the village had an idea of some of the social circumstances that girls would experience growing up. It might be an indictment of, on men, but these same men were raised by women who taught their daughters to empower themselves. You see, money or vex money that come from inside of this bosom of these women come close from the heart. It's a way of protecting women and to determine a legacy of empowerment through finances. You see, money was good and money is good. It helps in terms of vex money to negotiate situations that can bring shame and disgrace and compromising situations. And when I think about it further, I think that this whole notion of VIX money and female empowerment allows us to talk about narratives of female empowerment on a broader scale, on a wider scale. I remember in the Me Too movement time when they had a lot of stories about men and women and women claiming that they were harassed and stiff and things like that. I remember the story of Lupita Nyong'o, and when she told her story about Harvey Weinstein, I imagined, I said to myself, Lupita with this man and she wants to get away. I said to myself, Lupita girl, I hope your grandmother or your mother tell you about Vex money. I don't know if they tell you about Vex money. As a young black girl, she's supposed to know about Vex money. In many cultures, Vex money is called many different things. But Lupita had our Vex money for the subway. But I was a little disappointed with the story because Harvey Weinstein told her to get a cab. And she decided she going to take cab instead of just using she Vex money. She made Harvey Weinstein tell she for catch cab. We know he had to give she money for pay for the cab. I would have loved to see Lupita act like a village girl. When you see carry up and she want to escape, just flip she skirt and was out of there in full fashion with Chivex money and catch the subway. Now, I'm writing my next book on Vex money. Catch navel string, that one's finished, check Amazon, but Vex money is coming. And in Vex money, I'm exploring all the stories that women have told me and men about Vex money to, to tease out all the nuances of this way of life. So if you have a Vex Money story, share it with me and let me talk about it. I walk good.